talk be putting me on, okay? So, welcome back to another video. So, let me get... Um, excuse me for looking how I'm looking. Um, I'm home for the night. So, yeah, it's like... What time? Oh, of course, it will be 10.08. I promise y'all it was like... Maybe nine o'clock when I got in the house, and I got in the house like 15 minutes ago, so don't know where that is. But anywho, um, I had somewhat of an off day, but it's never really an off day for me because um, I help my mom with like, you know, her businesses and stuff, um, which I had a great time. We went and like smelled like a bunch of candle scents and stuff like that. But we went to Target and the beauty supply store. I got these 99 cent lashes, y'all. This is how they look. Um, this is the first pair. I just got two pair. I'm trying them out because you know, them being 99 cents could be a hit or miss. But yeah, so we went to Target also and y'all, they had the serve. So I got Rex McQueen with his old handsome self. He's so cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed y'all like he is so freaking cute oh my god and the artwork this is eating and the price point is eating okay we are getting right back to our 26 24.99 era and i'm here for it okay so she bought me monique so not the commercial ah! oh my god y'all because series two gags okay like this is giving what it's supposed to give okay so she is so stunning, like. And then my mom bought me Rex. This is the Rex I'm gonna keep in box. And then my bestie um, got this Mattel Tiana for me from Amazon. So gorgeous. I think that these dolls look a lot better face-wise and skin tone-wise um, versus the Hasbro ones, all tea, no shade. Wait, so I'll be opening them up tonight. Um, and I will share with y'all my thoughts on them since we're here and I'm wide awake right now. So, and we're vibing because, you know, popping tags up of echelon for no reason. Balling in the middle of the club. No jersey. Oh, yeah, y'all. So, Imani finally got her new hair. Let me just say, it ain't supposed to have this tint of green at the top. So I will be going back to dye it black. It's supposed to be just all black at the top. And then I kept her dandelion, this peekaboo underneath. This really is supposed to be like highlights, but my bestie was like, oh, it looks like a peekaboo. Which if you don't know, this is like a popular thing a lot of the black girls were doing with their hair. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, and I don't know, I'm even loving like the green shade. Like, cause it's a very light tint. Cause it's like green, black, and then the peekaboo. So. It's kind of dope, like I'm here for it, you know, period. Okay, y'all, so of course, I unboxed everybody off of camera. Um, so we'll start off, of course, with the Shadow High dolls. So here is Monique, the first Planet Her doll. So beautiful, y'all, I am just, yes. She is just as couture as Chanel. I love it. Like their dresses and their whole entire ensemble with their um, first outfits, spot on. Like, yes, they just do the, the black girls or who would be the black girls of the group so well. Like, I'm so here for it. Now y'all, I always have like this thing about like, it seems like black girls always get like the purple color scheme, like Phaedra, Crystal, just think, you know what I'm saying? But like when it's done in a way that like, Oh wait, this, like, child. This, oh yes ma'am. The makeup, the face is stunning, amazing. Her baby hairs, all of her braids, and there are different colors. There's like, uh, like, you know, like, uh, this isn't really royal blue, but like uh, there's shades of blue and different shades of purple all throughout. And I know that her hair has got, is just full. And she does have a middle part. So she is just stunning. Future, okay, that's enough. Um, these gloves on, yeah. So Monique gets a 10 out of 10 for me. The stand, 
fucking sucks. And her accessories, she of course has a uh, iPhone, iPhone, iPhone case, uh, some makeup brushes. This looks like a uh, lipstick probably. Yep, and a makeup palette, a little compact. So yes, the king of Ram, the current reigning king of Rainbow High, Shadow High, Rex McQueen, y'all. Oh my God, this, this, this is a boy doll. Like, girl, this girl, 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 girl. Love him so freaking much. Look at this half pearl, half chain necklace. The black AirPods. The Versace print um, haircut that he's got. He has on a Prada inspired coat. You can tell because of the logo, but it says shadow. And there's like a crescent moon. And then his outfit is like a full jogging suit, um, which is great. And then his, um, like, biker combat boots. Um, I'm pretty sure these are also um, Prada inspired. He is so stunning. His stand, also a piece of shit, but whatever. A laptop, some inspired Glitterade, inspired Gatorade that's Glitterade, and it's the Shadow Remix flavor. And then he also has an iPhone with an iPhone case when he's talking to Glitch in the text thread. So, overall thoughts on Shadow High Series 2. 10 out of 10, straight 10s across the board. And, and I love what they brought out for wave two of uh, Shadow High. With these dolls, the quality does always top tier. I mean, it's MGA, come on. And um, I'm a person who loves accessories and doll miniatures. So when it comes to stuff like these iPhones and the, the laptop, the Gatorade, the makeup, like I'm always here for it because I've said it a million times. Yeah, I'm always here for it. So it makes up, in my opinion, for the lack of second outfit. And I'm loving the fact that they're like $24. Like, I'm really, 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 really here for it. You know, after we've gone through <laughs> Costume Ball, Pacific Coast, and all that, it's nice to see the price come back to where it should be. But the artwork is super cute inside the box. 10 out of 10, Dolly Doors, period. Go get you some. They should be in popping up in Targets now. Okay, so last but certainly not least, here is the Mattel Tiana, and she is so pretty. Um, I absolutely love her face so much. I know a lot of people have a thing about pixelated faces, but personally, look, if it looks good, girl, just shut the hell up. It's like, look at her. It's very Tiana. Um, I can see her little dimples, too, in her cheeks. Um, her hair, of course, is in this uh, updo that looks curly, her little tiara. Top, of course, is molded on, and then there's the actual skirt part of the dress, and then um, the shoes. So very, very standard. This is how she came. She doesn't go with anything else, which is totally fine. I believe these dolls retail also for like $10, $10.99 or something like that. So, hey, I think, you know, and I've seen them all in person, by the way. Like, I saw Mulan. No, I, I saw all but Ariel. They all look good. We have some great releases that have come out, that have already came out, that are great for, I feel like, giveaway dolls. So, yes, I'm pondering, but you know. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, booze.